Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most legendary athletic rivalries of all time. However, we'll be saving collegiate teams and competition on the national scale for another day. Number 20, West Ham United FC and Millwall FC, English football. This long-standing rivalry from the world of English football has been going on since before the 20th century. The West Ham United FC and Millwall FC first played each other all the way back in 1899, and their competitive spirit has not diminished in the slightest. Reed met it. Carlton Cole! Unfortunately, this spirit exists today largely within English football hooligan culture, and there have been many reports of violent outbursts between supporters of both clubs. Bricks and bottles were lobbed as hundreds of supporters rioted. A police presence is usually required at matches as a result of this legacy, so as to ensure that a meeting between West Ham and Millwall doesn't wind up with a tragic end. And the FA has promised to investigate and to ban anyone found to have been involved for life. Number 19, Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons, NBA. The Detroit Pistons really dominated us mentally. Uh, physically, we were able to catch up. Teams can become rivals for a number of reasons, but there's no denying that the careers of the Chicago Bulls and Detroit Pistons would have likely been very different had Michael Jordan not entered the game. Here's Jordan, a steal from Dumars, takes it in for the dunk. It's Jordan's ascent to the apex of the basketball world that was so integral to denying the Pistons' championship dreams. This rivalry can be dissected from a number of different angles. However, including one that celebrates just how good the Pistons were, good enough to stop the Bulls early on in the late 80s. Then there was that period of Chicago dominance, the Jordan era that was not loved at home by Pistons player Isaiah Thomas, who was Chi-Town born. It all came together as a rivalry for the ages. Thomas would like to see Jordan pick up his fifth. Number 18, Borussia Dortmund and FC Schalke 04. German football. There are rivalries, there are local derbies, and then there's the Revier derby. It's known by fans as the Revier derby, a meeting between two legendary rivals of German football, Borussia Dortmund and FC Schalke 04. Fans stake their claims across color lines as supporters of both teams vehemently deny each other at every turn. Get with it. No, no! Borussia Dortmund and FC Schalke 04 have enjoyed a competitive legacy over the years, while some of their games have actually seen fans storming the pitch, creating chaos on the field. That said, both of these star German teams retain a respect for the other's collective skill, and it hasn't been unheard of for either Borussia Dortmund or FC Schalke 04 to support each other on a financial level when times have become tough. 30 draws, 32 wins for Schalke, 33 for Borussia Dortmund. Number 17, SL Benfica and FC Porto. Portuguese football. If it seems as if every country retains their internal football rivalries, that's because they do. And this definitely applies to Portugal's SL Benfica and FC Porto. <laughs> Matches between these two teams are known as O Clásico, setting both clubs apart from the other member of Portugal's big three of football, Sporting CP. This rivalry is a competitive one and based primarily upon both Benfica and Porto's status as strong winning teams. Their fans are also highly dedicated and bring this energy to the stands every time these two clubs meet on the field. Oddly enough, however, SL Benfica and Porto's rivalry remains one that's primarily centralized within Portugal, as O Clasico has never spilled out into other areas of European football competition. <laughs> Number 16, Dallas Cowboys and Washington Commanders, NFL. There's a lot of money and success behind the scenes of both the Dallas and Washington football teams. Three minutes left. Pressure is on. Oh. Floated and intercepted by Rob Jackson. This rivalry is a long one, dating back when the Washington team was known as the Redskins, and they were put in the same division as an upstart expansion team, the Dallas Cowboys. This placement meant that both Washington and Dallas would play twice a season, leading to a familiarity that bred a fierce competition. Romo flushed, finds Bryant. Instant momentum, down the sideline, there are no flags, touchdown Dallas. The rivalry also included a 1961 prank by Cowboys fans who took offense to Washington owner George Marshall's segregation and signing policies. Even television commercials got into the act, often playing up this historic NFL rivalry to humorous effect. But I'm not so sure Troy Barkman is such a fan. Number 15, Edmonton Oilers and Calgary Flames, NHL. 
It's the Canadian province of Alberta that serves as ground zero for our next sporting rivalry, this time within the National Hockey League. Intensity is at its highest now every time you play Calgary. The Calgary Flames represent the most densely populated city in Alberta, while the Edmonton Oilers serve as the team behind the province's capital city. This battle of Alberta has resulted in years of fierce competition and a fan rivalry that's up there with any other in the NHL. Here's Bozak with a shot high off the glass. The Oilers-Flames rivalry has a lot to do with the differences between each city's political ideologies, from Calgary's historically conservative background to the more liberal-leaning Edmonton. Said simply, a game between these two teams is virtually guaranteed to bring sparks to the ice. Five minutes into overtime in Game 5, and McDavid scores! Game winner! Series winner! Number 14, Olympiakose and Panathinaikose. Greek football. We've seen a lot of unique monikers for football rivalries over the course of this list thus far. But perhaps none of them possess one as dramatic as this one, the Derby of the Eternal Enemies. When you score against Panathinaikos, you become part of the club's history. This name is utilized to represent one of Greek football's most infamous pairings, that of their Olympiakose and Panathinaikose clubs. You really felt the strength of the emotions and the passion from both sets of fans. Coverage of their games is important enough to merit exposure in countries outside of Greece, while the actual games themselves are noteworthy for their intensity and competitive spirit. It's a true clash of the titans that no fan of Greek football would likely miss for any reason. Number 13, Green Bay Packers and Chicago Bears, NFL. Wants to go up top, looks to the end zone, the pass is on the money for the touchdown. The numbers speak for themselves. Both the Green Bay Packers and Chicago Bears have enjoyed a lot of success over the years, and it's been this success that's helped contribute to their professional rivalry. Well, that and the fact that their meetings have always been physical, with one game in 1924 becoming infamous for being the first instance of NFL players being tossed out of the matchup for fighting. Beyond this, it also comes down to the quality of players performing on both squads, as well as the eternal hunt for trophies and accolades that makes this rivalry between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears so interesting to watch. Fields loads up going end zone. That's Moody. He's got it. Touchdown, Chicago. Number 12, Dinamo Zagreb and Red Star Belgrade, Croatian football. There's always been a competitive fire burning between the Croatian football teams, Dinamo Zagreb and Red Star Belgrade. This rivalry dates all the way back to when both teams were still a part of Yugoslavia, an era that was marred by the Dinamo Red Star riot of 1990. I think the riots were planned by the Red Star fans because they knew the police would be on their side. It was actually political tension surrounding Croatia's imminent independence that seemed to fuel this riot, leading to an atmosphere at Maximir Stadium that was akin to a pot about to boil over. Clash with police in the middle of the pitch. Yeah, and then Boban kicked the policeman. The end results of violence between supporters of both teams was tragic and costly, resulting in over 60 people being injured. Many fans who were present that night went on to fight in the War of Independence the following year. Number 11, Ajax of Amsterdam and Feyenoord of Rotterdam, Dutch football. De Klassieker is the term used to describe this meeting between two of the Netherlands' most talented and supported football clubs, Ajax of Amsterdam and Feyenoord Rotterdam. This professional rivalry is one similar in sports to the Battle of Alberta. Grote kans for Feyenoord om de score te openen. En dan is het in de rebound alsnog Sinistera die voor de voorsprong van Feyenoord zorgt in de achtste minuut. This is due to the cultural differences between the cities of Amsterdam and Rotterdam with regards to perceptions of working within the arts as opposed to manual labor. Zo terugleggen en dan is dit Anthony en dan is dit de 3-2. Supporters of Feyenoord Rotterdam have even been known to utilize the saying, while Amsterdam dreams, Rotterdam works, to describe this socio-economic divide. How historic Feyenoord it today will make. And it is hard, historic on the word, hoor. 5-0. Unfortunately, historical examples of fan violence and even death have followed this rivalry, including a match from 1997 that saw the death of Ajax supporter Carlo Picardy. Number 10, Los Angeles Dodgers and San Francisco Giants, MLB. Giants and Dodgers had the greatest rivalry in baseball. You could lose 20 straight, but don't lose to the Dodgers. Don't lose to the Giants. This rivalry from Major League Baseball is all about geography. Specifically, it all started when the Dodgers and Giants were moved out west from their previous homes in New York City. Both teams were transplanted to California, while New York received a consolation prize in the form of the Mets. The resulting move to a pair of California cities already known for their rivalry bled into the Dodgers and Giants, creating tensions that are still present amongst fans today. Oh, two. Got him! 
Both teams have enjoyed winning records in the decades since their East Coast exodus, while their fans at home have experienced tragic instances of violence, including a murder in 2003 and an opening day stabbing in 2009. Number 9. Fenerbahce SK and Gala Tusserai SK Turkish Football all eyes of Turkey's football fans are drawn to the Intercontinental Derby, which is the name given to matchups between two of the country's most competitive football teams, Fenerbahce SK and Galatasaray SK. If you talk about Turkey, it's Galatasaray and Fenerbahce. Of course, the Galatasaray is bigger than Fenerbahce. It's a bitter rivalry to be sure, with stories of riots dating all the way back to when the teams played each other in 1934. This trend unfortunately continues today with bad behavior often occurring in the stands and in the streets outside of the games. <laughs> This connection with football hooligan culture has unfortunately marred what could otherwise be captivating matches between two talented Turkish teams. Number 8. AC Milan and Inter Milan – Italian Football We imagine that one could probably cut the tension with a knife over in Milan's San Siro Stadium a place where two of Italian football's fiercest rivals call home. He can hit them from there! A score in September! Yep, both AC Milan and Inter Milan play their intensely competitive games at San Siro, a place where fans make sure to separate themselves before play. Supporters of Inter Milan are largely generalized as upper class, while AC Milan possesses a reputation for blue-collar, proletariat representation. This, of course, all depends upon one's point of view, but there's no denying that fans of both teams rarely commingle. Instead, San Siro Stadium sees these rival games employing a north versus south seating arrangement. Marcus Turan! What a start to life in the Milan Derby! Number 7. Boston Celtics and Los Angeles Lakers, NBA. It's one of the most iconic feuds in professional basketball, and also the first appearance of Boston, Massachusetts on this list. Spoiler alert, it won't be the last. Reeves on top, Brown the close, Look at the that. three is right down the hatch. That's because sports is a big deal in this town, with the capital city having entered into a number of different rivalries over the years. White inside, layup is good. The one between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers is among the most iconic, however, thanks largely to the personalities involved. Legends of the game from Larry Bird to Magic Johnson have personified this rivalry, while the Celtics, to their credit, holds the esteemed honor of possessing a winning record over the Laker franchise. Here's to the basket. Number 6. Liverpool FC and Manchester United FC – English Football Manchester United and Liverpool are two of the most successful clubs in the history of English football. One of the commonalities seen thus far in this list is how certain cultural differences between cities can lead to the rivalries of their sporting teams. And Shaw has been careful not to handle it. Antonio Nunez makes it 2-0! This is definitely the case between Liverpool FC and Manchester FC, two titans of English football. This one's a bit different, however, since the actual cities themselves possess a competition that dates all the way back to the Industrial Revolution. Liverpool and Manchester aren't located very far away from each other, and this has resulted in an economic rivalry that poured over into the sporting world. What does this mean for football fans in the end? Competitive games, exciting play, and a fire that ignites every time Liverpool and Manchester United square off. They exist in opposition, but are bonded forever by an undying passion and love for football. Number 5. Real Madrid CF and FC Barcelona Spanish Football There's a surface-level similarity between this rivalry of Spain's Real Madrid CF and FC Barcelona to that of Benfica and Porto in Portugal. This match isn't just the Spanish Clásico, it's a Clásico all around the world. The word Clásico is used to describe any instance of competition between these two rivals, although it should be said that Real Madrid and FC Barcelona's history together is deadly serious. Real-life political tensions are largely tied to this rivalry, specifically Barcelona's representation of Catalan independence and Madrid's tethering to Spanish nationalism. It's all about identity. Whenever this team takes the field, they always play for the Catalan flag. Emotions have always run high as a result, with supporters often blurring the lines between politics and pastime to a startling degree. Football should be healthy, clean, but it has always been this way. I don't remember it ever being any different. Number four. Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees, MLB. One doesn't even really need to be a sports fan to know about this infamous rivalry for Major League Baseball. It was the Boston Red Sox's selling of legendary slugger Babe Ruth to the Yankees back in 1919 that led to the curse of the Bambino. That single transaction 
define the Red Sox franchise. This alleged curse resulted in a more than eight decade stretch in which the Sox didn't win a World Series and laid the groundwork for one of baseball's greatest rivalries. The Yankees go to the World Series for the 39th time. Then again, sometimes even the toughest curse has come to an end, and the Boston Red Sox finally clinched a World Series win in 2004. Back to full. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. Number three, River Plate and Boca Juniors, Argentina football. There are few sports fans as dedicated to their teams as football supporters. This live or die attitude towards fandom can definitely be applied to the long-standing rivalry between two Argentine football clubs, River Plate and Boca Juniors. And what started as a class war in the docks of Buenos Aires has been transformed into one of the world's most celebrated sporting events. The deal between both teams is so big that when they play a Super Clásico, as it's called, fans often show up hours in advance to cheer and tailgate. That said, fans of the visiting team rarely show up at all since violence has also been known to erupt for away fans who dare root for the opposition. There also was a tragic accident in 1968 in which 71 people were killed during a stampede. The tragedy known as Puerta Dossi. Number two, Boston Bruins and Montreal Canadiens, NHL. The city of Boston returns once again, this time for their intense rivalry with the Montreal Canadiens and the National Hockey League. On a hand in tight, Caulfield scores! Cole Caulfield! This latter team is no stranger to toughing it out against rival opponents, as evidenced by their games against the Toronto Maple Leafs. That said, their Boston feud is something else, a rivalry marked by physicality and a competitiveness unlike many others in the NHL. A 1955 brawl between players from both teams following an incident of high sticking snowballed into suspensions, fines, forfeited games, and an eventual riot at the Montreal Forum on March 17th of that year. When he was suspended by President Clarence Campbell, that triggered the riot outside the Forum that you wouldn't see in any other sport. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, English football. The North London Derby is ground zero for this rivalry. Rice plays it in. It's in! 3-0! New York Knicks and Miami Heat, NBA. Pat Riley has actually coached both teams. Randall puts up a three. Bang! Bang! Randall knocks down the three with seven tenths of a second remaining. Esteglal FC and Perspolis FC, Iranian football. An intense derby from the Persian Gulf. The breakthrough arrived early in the second half. Jabba Ansari's powerful header gave Estegal the lead. New South Wales and Queensland, National Rugby League a state of origin classic. Has missed Tabby Wifado, and the hammer stands him up, and Queensland might be going to do it again. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Celtic and Rangers, Scottish football. Glasgow's Celtic and Rangers football clubs are no strangers, having stared down each other more than 400 times over the course of their existence. Both teams are known by fans as old firm, and their rivalry is one that's again steeped in tense, high-stakes political beliefs and ideologies. Today, the hatred is just as strong and continues to split the city in two. Scottish identity and culture is behind much of what makes the Celtic and Rangers rivalry so intense, including arguments concerning religion, nationalism, and conservative versus liberal policies. Lines between athletics and everyday life become blurred as a result, making a simple sports rivalry something that transcends a mere physical contest. 140 years of history, we're not going to give that up all that easy. Who do you support in some of these historic rivalries? Let us know in the comments. It's still going, and in for a Jets touchdown! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.